also developing right now. He has been stuck in Argentina for more than two months. A man from Sugarland desperately trying to get back home during a global pandemic and a virtual halt in air traffic. But the agonizing delay may finally be over thanks to the help from a familiar face back in Sugarland. Channel 2's Joel Eisenbaum is live now with a story. Joel. Lauren, as scary as this whole pandemic thing is, chances are you are navigating through it with your family. I hope you are anyway. Could you right now imagine being stuck in a foreign country without your wife, without your kids? This guy doesn't have to imagine. I get the feeling that you want me. He's not just a rock musician. He's a Sugarland family man. One who has been in a heck of a predicament the last 63 days in Argentina. March 12th is when we had the first concert and the same night president of Argentina declared that all U.S. citizens uh, had to immediately go into quarantine or risk getting arrested. And so for more than two months now, Randy Van Gelder has been stuck in Cordoba, Argentina, holed up in a tiny apartment while his family in Sugarland has done everything they can think of to get him back home where he belongs. Each day is a little bit different, and uh, it's really hard. We, we miss them, but we're getting by. You know, we're not the only ones going through rough times. Three times, Van Gelder has tried to catch a flight back to Houston, and every time something's gone wrong, including flight cancellations. But then Sugarland's mayor stepped up. He knows Van Gelder's father, and he took action. I said, can you help? I said, sure. So I reached out to... Uh, John Corn and Ted Cruz and Pete Olson and uh, Jay Guerrero there in, in uh, Senator Cornyn's office. He was great, and he's on his way home. Fingers crossed anyway. It starts with a 10-hour car drive just to get to the airport. But there is no ride too long right now, that's for sure. Boy, you know, it's, it's, it's not easy, for sure. This is really happening. He's really going to come home. Let's hope so. Randy Van Gelder is scheduled to arrive in Miami tomorrow. He will catch a flight, hopefully, to Houston Saturday morning. Best wishes to this family. We're live in Sugarland tonight. I'm Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC, Channel 2 News.